so hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video we are going to discuss about the clear water analytics solutions and what is the interview process and how we can clear the uh, hacker rank test and what is the uh, uh, process uh, to be placed in the clear water analytics solution as a software developer engineer <coughs> what is the application process and uh, how you can uh, approach uh, for the requirement process so first of all uh, you can apply in the linkedin or you can also visit to the nokri uh, first nokri uh, website once you will go there and you will find the application link and once you will apply there uh, you will get a, uh, they will uh, review your uh, resume after resume, uh, reviewing your resume they will shortlist you and uh, once uh, they will shortlist it to your resume they will call to you and uh, they will ask you are you looking for any job change if you are in experience levels so, so they will ask you uh, are you looking for any job change then if you will, you will say that i am looking for any job opportunity uh, in your company so they will uh, schedule and uh, hacker rank test uh, in the hacker rank test uh, you have a, a camera enabled uh, camera enabled the test will be there and, uh, and there will be one coding question and near about 15 to 16 question will be uh, on mcq based that is totally based on the uh, data interpretation and uh, a few will be on that like tree what is the relation between the leaf node and its vertices and uh, and few will be on the what is the complexity of the merge sort and uh, insertion sort like this uh, and they will ask you complexity types of the questions and few will be pseudo code and they will ask you what will be output of this okay and near about uh, the test timing will be here and you have been invited to attend the clear water analytics software engineer i this one the intern uh, but uh, this was the Subject development role. Okay, if you are in the experience level, then you have to a uh, subject development role. They will provide you. And uh, the test was only on remote base, and uh, it will be on a hacker rank. Okay. So once uh, you will clear the questions, uh, all the questions you will attempted, and uh, if you will be able to solve the coding question, then definitely you will be able to get, uh, clear the coding test. Okay. And once you will clear the course uh, test, I'm I'm going to tell you how, how what is the uh, uh, level of the questions uh, uh, coding level questions okay uh, so i'm going to tell uh, show you and what was the question and i'm telling uh, first of all i'm showing you uh, this one was the question okay like given an integer i j and k and uh, there will be three integers i j and k and you have uh, uh, to find the sequence sum like i plus j if you you we have to increment up to j like i i plus one i plus two until we have reached to j once we have reached to j we have to go either in positive or negative direction uh, it will depend on the uh, k okay i am showing the example how you can see this suppose we have i equal to suppose we have i equal to 3 and j equal to suppose we have 8 and k equal to we have minus 3 then in this case what we have to do we have to increment up to 8 it means 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 we have reached to j okay and now we have to go up to k k is if we here it will be like 13 then we will go to 9 10 11 13 and here i am showing you here we have to go uh, up to minus 3 then in this case what we have to do uh, we will add to this uh, like 8 minus 1 will be 7 and 6 5 4 we have to add it, all this and 3 suppose it will be plus 3 okay minus 3 will be long uh, plus 4 and plus 3 up to this and we have to add all of this and we have to return this okay then how we can do is this so uh, suppose uh, this one is the example here we have to i equal to 0 j equal to 5 k equal to minus 1 in this case what we have to do we have to first of all we will uh, increment i up to 5 i equal i plus 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 we have reached to this and after once we have reached to the uh, j we have to decrement this uh, the value of j uh, uh, some uh, value up to minus 1 okay then uh, we have reached to 5 and 4 uh, 3 2 1 0 minus 1 and we have to add all of these we uh, what will be the result uh, you can see uh, the result will be 24 so in this case i have first of all i have attempted a worst case scenario like the worst case time complexity and uh, i have used a while loop but uh, it was uh, giving the tle like uh, time limit exceeded so uh, for the next further step i have gone uh, the questions and the solution was like this uh, this one was the uh, worst case okay you can do like this also but uh, it is not correct way but uh, in one single step you can do is, uh, this and j and k so we have to return first of all what we have to do we have to return i plus j uh, into j minus i plus 1 or divided by 2 plus k plus j minus 1 uh, into j k minus 2 
Uh, so this was the solution for this question. I am um, once you will clear. And I am not showing all the MCQ question because I have I am not remember all the questions. But uh, you can uh, find the few question are based on the percentage and few are based on the uh, like uh, suppose if a person is going to uh, right direction uh, uh, in five meters and then he uh, return uh, return to uh, left uh, and move. 10 meters and then he again move to right and uh, moves to 5 kilometer and um, 5 meter and uh, like these questions will be there and a few will be uh, reasoning and uh, automata type questions and a few will be on time, time complexity based questions so you can attempt there and you will be easily uh, clear this solution uh, clear this interview questions okay once you will be clear the high current test uh, after two to three days or uh, it will depend on the interviewer and how he, how you, uh, soon they will uh, review your high current test they will uh, review your test and they will uh, call you like that you have successfully cleared your high current test and now you have a another interview round so in this round uh, you have to go by the zoom meeting and uh, you have to go in the zoom meeting you have they will also ask you another round of coding uh, so in this uh, it will be auto, uh, also will be the coding round and they will uh, give you one question and you, uh, you have to share your screen and once you will share your screen uh, you have to do you have to solve the questions on higher ranks as well uh, so once you will complete it uh, they will tell you that you have successfully clear or not and once you will clear there will be uh, they will be scheduled in another interview round for the hr technical hr technical rounds okay so i am going to what was the level of the questions in the interview actually uh, interview round uh, uh, interview round question was a uh, little bit difficult uh, than uh, the coding round that we have previously given so i will uh, i am showing you what was the question and uh, actually uh, once i uh, i have given the test and uh, uh, in the evening i have, so it was on geek for geek also okay but uh, it was in the geek for geek and uh, it was in the lead code lead code is the one of the best uh, coding platform you can uh, visit there and you will find that this is the one of the best coding platform okay so uh, what was the question and what was the coding difficulty level i'm showing you uh, so first of all you, you have given a string uh, suppose you have given a string yes uh, so you can you are given a string yes and integer k uh, so duplicate remove you have to remove okay so how you can i am uh, you will you can read this i'm uh, telling you directly the question okay so you have given a string yes equal to a b c d and given an integer k and you have to remove the total number of character up to two okay if uh, there will be two uh, uh, consecutive characters will be there and you have to remove that okay suppose a b c d okay so in this there are no character are uh, in the duplicate way like are the consecutive characters like if here it will be a and a then i can remove here will be two so we will remove but here is no k so we are not removing any character so this is the output but suppose we have d double e yes, this one is the input so we have to remove k equal to 3 suppose we are going to traversing this so first of all we are going to d uh, and d plus uh, i plus i1 i plus 1 here it is not matching but once we are going to here uh, you can find here there are three characters which are the consecutively equal so in this case we will uh, remove these these three once we have removed these three we will find d and d okay but uh, d and d also not equal to k equal to 3 so we will not remove this so once we will go to b and b uh, we will also not but once you go to ccc and triple c we will find the k equal to 3 so we will remove this these three okay and once we will remove these three and then we will find that uh, these three b also will be there which we can remove uh, al uh, b also okay once we will remove the b we will find d and d okay d d and uh, d we will find that there are 3d okay these the 3d also be, will be removed and only these two will be there and these two a will be there as the output because uh, there are not uh, equal to k equal to three uh, uh, characters are available which we can uh, remove okay so in this case we can't remove this so this is the case and we can uh, remove and delete once we are deleted uh, this will be output so okay so uh, this is the like you can see uh, this also this test case also so what is the process and uh, you can visit to the this solution uh, like uh, here is the solution uh, we have to remove duplicate characters uh, in, uh, here we have used self but uh, once you are using the hyper rank there there no will be uh, the self like this so you have to given a function diff and uh, suppose duplicate and you have given a string yes and k okay suppose i see the string and k uh, like this and you have to code in this so this is the uh, coding based question and interview questions uh, if you, you will be able to solve these questions then definitely you will be uh, uh, able to clear the coding test okay so these are the uh, questions you will be able to solve and this is the logic and so thanks for watching the video and please subscribe to, to, to the my channel and if uh, there will be any doubt you can ask to me okay thank you